thought, hold that thought. I want to I address your question too. So Nick asked a very, very good question, and it might have seemed like magic. Trust me, it's not. One thing I cannot do is exact calculations in my head. The question was, how was I able to pull this to be 16%? It's kind of quickly over here. Because I, I, I did the 1.25 to 1250, and then I kind of thought for a couple seconds and popped out. It's roughly 16%. You guys said, yeah, it's about 16 or 17%. Who saw what I did? It was not magic. Trust me, I'm not magical. I'm Italian. Sometimes it's a mistake, and I understand that. <laughs> but what did I do? Can anybody see what I did? You knocked off the zeros and the 20% of 125. I couldn't do that. That's too much work for my head to do. <laughs> I called 1250, 1200. Ah. And then I knocked off all the zeros and made it two twelfths, ah. which is one sixth. And one sixth is about 17%. That's what I did. Nothing magical. Trust me, it's pure efficient laziness or lazy efficiency. I don't know if it works. It, it does work. That's the thing. Over here, when Linda asked about 200 feet to miles, 200 feet to miles, I said, well, <coughs> There's 5,200 feet in a mile. Let's call that 5,000. That's not right. It's 5,280. But I said call it 5,000. Then it's 200 over 5,000, which is 2 over 50, which is 1 over 25, and 1 25th is 4%. 0 0.04. Boom. And you got 2.03. I got 0 .03, 0 0.038 or something like that. And it's close. It's cl That's the thing. It's close. You get close enough. Sometimes close enough isn't good. For example, when we, I had uh, Micah and somebody else helping me with the grade on the ADA ramp yesterday. When you guys were out there measuring the stairs in that quiz, I took my transit down to measure the ADA ramp to make sure the slope wasn't too steep. Estimation is not good enough there. That has to be precise. Not this, but this. So I had to use the instrument, the, the, the transit leveled properly, and Micah said, hold that thing nice and still so I could zero in on it. That's where I wouldn't do what I just did. I would use a calculator and I would get a precise answer. But it depends on what your application is. Sometimes you need precision, sometimes a ballpark will do. Is that fair enough? Good. Please, don't feel that you should know that right now. Some of you, by default, go to technology. Good for you, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with going right to technology. I got no problem with that. But realize that in some cases in your lives, estimation is fine. Figure out how much the stuff in your shopping cart is worth at the store before you walk up. Why would you even care about that? That might be a good take home question. <laughs> Go to food oh, class. Yeah. Excuse me, sir, can I take a picture of your shopping cart? Thank you. Why would you care to know roughly how much the value of your shopping cart is? Well, so well, that's good. I wasn't thinking about that. Again, this is coming from a bike community who never carries cash. I charge things. Yeah. I'm, I'm so I'm so nervous living on the East Coast to be in a bike community in a moment that I just never carry cash anymore. That's one thing. Make sure you don't go over budget, break the bank. What happens frequently sometimes, though? <clears throat> you get to the register. They run you through. And they didn't give you And they discount. overcharged you or didn't give you a discount that you deserve. Exactly. That has happened to me a number of times. You know, I bought like three bags of kids. That'll be uh, $62. Okay, no. <laughs> That's about twice as much as it's supposed to be. And then I look at this screen and I see that the person running through six times instead of three. This happened just to give you just to give you an idea of this does happen. I'm not making this crap up. Sitting down with my wife 15 years ago, buying our first house, sitting with the banker who's giving us the loan. I ask her, okay, I see all these numbers flying by. I'm like, okay, I can't keep track of all this in my head. And she's on the keypad of the computer. I'm like, just tell me roughly what my what my monthly payment's going to be. And I had kind of ballparked in my head it was going to be somewhere around 800 bucks a month in my head, kind of just ballparking it. And she's, and she's like, 2,000. I'm like, okay, okay, I can't afford that, and I don't think you're right. <laughs> and she's like, well, no, watch, watch. And she's showing these percentages, 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 percentages. And I was like, I was like, slow down, friend. Do it again. She had hit enter twice at the end of the calculation. So it was supposed to be a thousand, but it got doubled to two thousand. Didn't even catch it. Now I'm not saying that that would have what, 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 what I would have had to pay because that was just her approximating my payment. But just having a ballpark of where it was supposed to be, and then hearing that number enabled me to go, "Wait, that's not right. <laughs> that's way too much money for the little tiny house that we're buying." See, you see what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. So I'm not making this stuff up. Estimates are good to have. Just have a ballpark of what you've got in your car, in your car in your house, in your garage, whatever, just to know what's there. So that way, when you have to do something with that, you have a ballpark that you can work off of. That's all. 
That's why I don't care about the answer so much as the process by which you get your answer. We're all going to get slightly different answers for how many trees are on campus, or how many stairs are on campus, or I like the shopping cart. Is that going to go for you guys? If I took a picture of a shopping cart, how much is this worth? Sure. Maybe. I'll think about that. That might be biased towards those who shop for food at certain places, but uh, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Anyway, I didn't come here to tell you that. I came here to finish that problem. I came here to finish that problem. Can anybody see my minor consternation with that calculation? Minor consternation, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, huh. There's a small problem, and it's small. We're going to see how small it is here, Andrew. Andrew's got a very interesting point. Is this 1.25 kilometers? Technically, no. That is. Isn't it now? Is it that the one point? Think about it. I'm running up a hill. I'm running up a hill. If I'm running up a hill, I'm running on the hypotenuse. Right? This is just like the college. This is like every grade problem we looked at in class last time. Now, we didn't have to bust this out until the ADA ramp. Remember, we had to bust it out there with the ADA ramp because I measured the ramp and the rise, which is essentially what we have here, the ramp and the rise. My question for us is, does it matter? Does it matter that we inadvertently put this here? Let's, let's, let's answer. I can't do it in my head. It is going to matter numerically, but the question is, how much off are we? How much off percentage-wise are we? I'm not talking about percentage grade, but how much in error are we by putting the 1.25 in the wrong place? Let's answer that right now, shall we? Let's swing this around the front. You want this turn? Uh, please, thank you, thank you, Lynn. That's perfect. Go ahead. Still you want record, it right? Off though, right? Oh no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, we probably should, right? Let's start it again. I don't know you do that. Oh yeah.